Uh, I show it to the medical students, one hour and a half. So I need to cut it to 20, so I drop all the medical section of that. But also, I wanted to say that there are pictures of the naked people, so if anyone who get, uh, get the hurt should not stay and watch <laughs> this. <laughs> anyone who comes to uh, a presentation on this topic, yeah. you should have to yeah. deal with it. Yeah. OK, <laughs> then um, that's the difference. So I, some years ago, I wrote two books, one about the victim of the sexual abuse and one about the sex offender. So I had to be familiar with the sexuality. And since that time, I have uh, written and uh, lectured about that. Life of the caveman and woman. On that time, of course, they were all naked. There's many, most of them. They had sex in the same place in the cave. And uh, also the human evolution that I like to talk a little about it. Uh, obesity, as you know, all of us, we have a gene of obesity because uh, a thousand years ago, there was six months uh, of starvation. There was no food. And as if whoever had this, uh, uh, I call it, uh, I have it for myself, I call it the refrigerator, survive. And whoever was a slender died. So. All we have a gene of obesity, paranoia, obviously, whoever was paranoid survived and give the gene to the next generation because it was, uh, was suspicious, would be homeless and guard and, and survive and not be eaten by a tiger and uh, lions or the enemy. Paranoia is in all of us. And multiple orgasm in the females, they have had capacity because on that time, you know that uh, thousand years ago, uh, the pregnancy was very uh, rare because there was infection and all of these things. And one need to have that uh, multiple orgasms. So from one man to go to another, to another, to another, until that she get pregnant with one of them. And whoever had that gene was able to transfer it to the other one, the generation, new generation. And whoever know with one sex was satisfied for one victim, did not get pregnant. So we have all, and premature ejaculation that uh, Sharon first commented on that first the speaker. Premature ejaculation, you know, look at the man in the cave, and he is, uh, of course, evolutionary, everyone should have a premature ejaculation, right. because he need to finish it fast, yes. otherwise he would be finished by the tiger and lions. <laughs> um, uh, once I was doing a, a sex therapy or whatever, psychotherapy with the couples who had the sexual problem, premature ejaculation. So when I told them, and I told them the same example of the cave and tiger and whatever. After six months, I saw the woman in the street and I asked her in the shopping center. I asked her how, how things are going up. She said, no improvement. And she said, whenever I confront him, he said, don't blame me, blame the lions and tiger in the cave. <laughs> okay. Sex pottery. So these are, uh, I'm going to go fast because we don't have a time to talk about it. But these are the, uh, uh, obviously, phallic uh, uh, symbol, or really it's not a symbol, is it? Uh, and there was nothing like that. This, this is uh, still in the museum, yes. Uh, and uh, it was okay to have that. Uh, this is a sculpture, and uh, it was okay to have sex. It was part of the, like, eating, like getting together and eating. No elephant in the bedroom that you wanted to uh, ignore and pass. This was perfectly all right. OK, this is the one that killed people. This is the one that saved people. But which of them could come to the news media? Not this one, but that one. That shows yes, that, show that how bad we got. How, what happened from that time, which was really everything was OK, we get to this is a stage that anything sexual is forbidden. Uh, of course, condom is not safe. Uh, a friend of mine was killed by hazard, so I don't, don't think that it's safe. Okay, and uh, how about dildo? There was something in the past that they created, oh, of course, looking to the Oxford English Dictionary, oh. yeah. and they call it Dilly doors because it was a dry breath, and they were using it to do that. So, and the church was very much against that because at that time against any kind of sexuality. So a size 
to match your sinful desire. So they, they were going to uh, confess to the priest that if they used that on that time. Contraception condom also was created from uh, uh, 1600 from uh, uh, intestine, or I think that's a pre pretron, that's a, or bladder. And they used that time for, uh, most of the time was for preventing it, the, the venereal disease rather than contraception. How did church feel about it? Church was very much preoccupied with other sinful things and did, did allow them to use the contraceptive in some way. Same like today, some are in the favor, some of them are not on that. On that time, they were all concerned about the other sins, such as masturbation, such as extramarital affair, such as any of Roman and sex, of course, uh, Roman was involved in sex, in religion, in the meetings, in a, in a wedding, in a party, and there was, was all together having uh, sex together. One of the most famous collection of this is uh, Sacred Cabin, which is still is in a museum. In, uh, interesting is that when the king and his wife family in 1890 went and they saw that they were shot and they put the wall there so no one can go there anymore at uh, that time. Effect of hormones. So a little talk about the, I, I mentioned I throw all the medical section out, but let me tell a little about it. The animal sexual arousal is closely tied to the hormone of the know, In human beings, that's not true. Um, in animals, castration results in rapid decline in eventual disappearance of the sexual activity in animal. In human beings, we see the women who go through menopause, some of them, their sexuality substantially increased. So, as, so that's a difference between human beings and animals in regard to the sexuality. <coughs> so androgen, androgen is a male, a male hormone, contribute to sexual desire only in some people, not all emotional factors are important in both gender. This is more about the male, but how about the female? The effect of hormonal desire in female. Female uh, sexual desire is less dependent on hormones. In animal, a castrated female would resist any sexual uh, advances, has no desire, no uh, interest on in that. But how about human being? The major exception is the following in menopause. Most women do not experience diminished sexual desire, some say that it increased. Oxytocin, that's the one only hormone that I wanted to talk. This is not a sexual hormone, this is the intimacy hormone, this is a kissing hormone. And we call it the cuddle hormone. We call it the cuddle hormone. Yes, yes. Uh, hugs, kissing, all of these things, holding, uh, praising some, this create the oxytocin. And that is the one that uh, uh, surprising when they talk about seven years each, there was some research that show after seven years oxytocin decreased. So maybe that each can come and when one get interested in other people. Uh, okay, oxytocin is a powerful hormone and acts as a neurotransmitter in the brain. When we hug or kiss the loved one, oxytocin level increase. There is an animal with the name which is look like the hamster, which I can I don't know how to pronounce it, its name. Prairie ball. Prairie. 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 Okay. They are staying with the partner the rest of their life. A closed intimacy relationship. And they are kids are cat. And they have the highest amount of the uh, oxytocin. And human beings need to, to learn from these people. These uh, animals. Yeah which are important, culture or nature. So let's blush. Let's assume, um, is it the testosterone, is it, is it nature, or is it the culture that really have an impact on our sexuality? What we can do is that, uh, so, there, i give you the example. If I was in a hotel, so as last night, uh, if by accident I opened the door of the, another person, and a woman is taking off her clothes and the naked thing. I would really embarrass, close the door, and I would blush, and she would blush. But what nature would say, nature would say that I should get sexually stimulated, and she should also get sexually. So, which is more important? So, the culture, 
calm, it changed the direction of my circulation, blood circulation. Blood should go to my genital area, it comes to my face. So in some way, whenever I blush, I tell myself, blushing is an erection of the face. <laughs> so the culture, uh, both are important, but I think that culture has the other hand. Circus, we have a manifestation. You can't believe it, lions and tigers, with all that testosterone and adrenaline. I mean, in the circus, the trainer put his head inside of their mouth, and they don't bite him. What happened? And this is it. So, which culture or nature? Culture has an upper hand. So, they really behave on education. Except, I'm originally from Iran, except the Iranian circus, because the, the person who does that, the trainer himself, is an opium addicted. Every night is. And also, blue to the face of the lions. So, he's sitting there at night, and the lion is next to him, tiger next to him. He has smoke opium. On. So, they also get. And then after a few minutes or a few couple hours, they are all stoned and lying down. So that's different from other. Kissing pattern in African tribe. Ejaculation without or doesn't. In African tribe, there are some, uh, during the sex in one of the tribes, that the, the anthropologists did the research, they don't kiss each other. The, so kissing, which we think that the whole natural is, it's a culture. What they do, they bite the eyelash of each other during the sex. And what is the importance of that? Is that sex is no longer secret. Next day, let's assume I come next day on board, I lost all my eyelash, and <coughs> my partner get too excited, half of my mustache also is gone. So, <laughs> so they, it, I cannot hide from anyone. So that was OK. And we have also ejaculation. Ejaculation by nature should have a pleasure. And there are men who have ejaculation with no orgasm. And that is the, and that the treatment, but that's the real kind of the main sexual dysfunction. Evolution. We talk about all of these things. So what happened to uh, multiple orgasm in female? Sexuality should be a strongest really desire, otherwise we would not be here. We would not be alive. We would not be a present if sex was not important. Because they should, in primitive culture, they should have sex very important. And uh, I assume that uh, this was the, obviously the uh, Victorian era, which destroyed this multiple orgasm. Even on that time, if the female would have a pleasure, would feel guilty after that, because that was only for prostitutes. I am only here to create a baby. <coughs> the question is how about homosexuality. How did evolutionary transfer, because they do not have a children? How did transfer the gene? Well, the question is that homosexual female of the primitive culture rape all the time, and also in that present culture, many of them are married and have a children, so they would transfer the gene. Development of sexual desire and love. It's still the most important human uh, sexual organ is the brain. Yeah. Oxytocin is a love hormone, as I mentioned, not a sex hormone. Love is blind, but marriage is an eye opener. I have a personal experience. So. Uh, testosterone and body care of the. Okay, let me see. When you look from the back, uh, Seven years old, ten years old boy, and ten years old girl. You don't know who is the boy, who is the girl. Both are like them. The moment that they go through puberty, girl develop care, and boys develop care. This is a care that, when it comes to my eyes, goes there and create testosterone. So that is the, and, and that's the reason that we, uh, they created the high heel shoes, because high heel shoes, they, they uh, exaggerate the uh, care. So, preoccupation with the size, penis in the man and wrist in the woman. Pedophile, okay. So, the, we, would, we would show some pictures, we don't have the time. Uh, okay, pedophile and his penis. Okay. What I happened the last 10 years, you mentioned about how many years you wanted to break that journal. Last 10 years, I tried to write an article about the pedophile, sex abuse. Only I wrote so far the title of that. <laughs> and, and of course, all the meaning is in title. Title is the pedophile and his penis is anatomy the destiny. 
I borrow the second section from Freud, which we all talk about the female, not about the male. But what is that? I have never, I have treated thousands of uh, sexual problems, but hundreds of sexual conditions. So I wrote a book about it. I said, so I never saw any pedophile who is comfortable with the size of his penis. If it is sexual, that's what they go to other children because they feel superior. So pedophile, so that's a difference between female and male. Male need to perform. He's worried about his penis and all of these things. I asked the sex up why you didn't go to the bar and pick up one? Oh, they have had sex with others. They know I have something wrong with my penis. So they're uh, pedophile and okay, that's a joke, not a joke, but it happened. The pedophile was uh, putting them, which all of them are worried about size of their penis. They were putting a password into the computer. Every password that he would put, he would say, this someone else has used it. He get angry and put the word penis. And the answer comes, your password is not long enough. <laughs> <laughs> you can imagine what he goes through. What a, what a shock he has. Even computer knows I, I, my, my penis is small. Okay, that's the care, testosterone and care, let's see. Yeah, that's the care after the care. You see old, old, how many care, and the clothes that was old clothes was increasing the, and the way that they were sitting, that increasing, exaggerating the care. Okay, this is again, this is the advertisement. She is telling the sexiest care on your body is your smile. This is a culture. This is the nature. You can smile all day. It never increased testosterone on me. <laughs> I need a care to develop testosterone. This is a culture. So the culture, yes, I get attracted to a woman who is smiling and... <clears throat> body is a vehicle for a slogan. Body is not only for sex. You can imagine the circus, they are against that. This is a, a demonstration in Berlin against in the front of the, one of the Middle East countries, uh, embassy. This is not a statue, this is a really a modern British model who is objecting to the parliament, wanted that they rebuild their expenses and she become naked and stand there. So the body is your sexuality, <coughs> this is your advertisement. This is a, uh, for a fair, there are, there are animals, but the animals one and this woman is coming out and it's a fair coat and it's very upset. Uh, Vegetarian advertisement, all have the same human being, but we don't kill the human being, we don't eat. We got a vegan advertisement about that. Ah, Sufya in famous sign, Vegano. That is, is too important that they try to repeat that, and they repeat it. And what they repeat it is this. Claire and Gloria, they are, they are repeating that, that and make a picture and movie about that. So it's not only female. <laughs> 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 oh my! Is that real, or did they make that? No, 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 no that's a yeah. That's yeah. Funny. Yeah. <laughs> pretty good. Well, she, he must have been looking at it, something else, but in picture looked like that. He's, he's, he's interested in that. Okay, I did not come from your rib. You came from our vagina. That's <laughs> 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 to this uh, is a very attractive woman who is uh, getting attention of the priest. And, and that's a good time you should tell her. Okay, men are from Mars, women are from Venus. One hundred and one position and one hundred and two excuse. Not to <laughs> so that's different. We don't have the time to talk about different. Uh, to have sex, Women need to have a feelings and need to have a place. <laughs> okay, if I'm okay if we disagree on political position as long as we agree on the sexual position. So that's the female sexuality we talked uh, in the last two uh, speakers. I feel a little about that. Female sexuality is made by male. You know, all prophets were male. All the, most of the chairman of the Department of Psychiatry are male. Freud was male, all of them were. And sex, female sexuality is shaped by men. And, 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 and now feminist is coming and talking about what women, what is a female sexuality. So when we talk about in, in that time, there was any, as Sharon said, said premature ejaculation, who cares? <laughs> you should care about a female. I mean, that was, the, that was, that was not the, something that the female would talk about. 
Can't you ever relax? <laughs> and she, my, my impression is that she has an OCD. I diagnose her already. And OCD control is a controversial difficulty to relax. In, to have an orgasm, you need to uh, regress. And if you don't have a capacity to regress, if you are one between control and OCD, and the, it's famous that the woman having sex in the bed and you look at the ceiling and see it. See some and then stop because they, that need to be clean. Stop and then on the, on the, or if you you have a party at night and at one o'clock everyone leave and all the dishes is unwashed and the husband would say leave it there tomorrow. No, she need to wash it until two o'clock in the morning. And of course, uh, OCD also is a, is a, sometimes superiority. So all of this uh, CEO CFO has a touch of the OCD. Okay. Many women feel sexually aroused while respectful. So what? Uh, but so what in the sense that uh, no one reported that woman to the state uh, uh, department of children and youth service because of protective sex is. But if the, the girl sit in the la lap of a father and father say, I get the erection, then we will report it. <laughs> so, that's it. so there's a difference between the female and male sexuality by culture. Falling in love is look like a standing in the edge of the tall building and uh, your mind, the scream, don't, but your heart says you can fly. That is the law. The difference between the law and sex. A woman in love can't be reasonable or she probably would not be in love. Well, that's me. Well, that's from a female. So that's, that's good. That is a, from a male. The story of territory. So let's get some technical. Contrary to what might seem in the movie or pornography, the orgasm is not only for penetration. The clitoris is a very, very important part of the orgasm, and we don't know too much about it. That's anti-recently masturbation, oral sex, were considered shameful and perversion. And if a woman experienced desire uh, in the 19th century, she was uh, a nymphomaniac. Things you never know about your clitoris. That's the article about cosmopolitan. So I spoke with Dr. Nagoski, and what it said: the clitoris isn't just a knob on the top of your vulva. The clitoris actually extends deep into the body, all the way goes to the vagina, and has an internal structure as well, kind of the wishbone. So it goes inside of the vagina. Those same internal clitoral structure might actually be the G spot that they a few years ago they started to talk about is some in sonography research and look to know what happens when people have a sex, women have a sex in regard to the vagina and clitoris. <coughs> what they find is that during penetration the vagina flexes in a way that may <coughs> go through the vaginal wall and touch the clitoris the structure which is inside of the vagina which people often think is a G-spot. It can vary from woman to woman, but some women, when they experience G-spot orgasm, it may be really a clitoris orgasm. Not all clitoris stimulation feel good, so we are all told that the clitoris is the only organ designed purely for pleasure, but that's not true. It actually designed for sensation, but if one is not turned on, any kind of the clitoral stimulation actually would not have any impact. Why do anatomy textbooks still give short shift to them? Did evolution change the anatomy? There are, I saw the article that said that originally the clitoris was inside of the vagina. Due to the evolution, it came outside. They are blaming the woman. I have my own theory, not blaming the woman. I would say that it was a man's penis was looks like the vibrator. See, there's a two branch. One would touch the clitoris and one would go inside of it. So, and due to the evolution, man didn't lose this one because he didn't care about the woman's pleasure. So it went, gone, like a, like a tail that all of us we had and we lost the tail. So we didn't use it, yeah. Penis is more than a body part. Egypt, in the war, they would, come, they would cut the penis and they bring it to the press, uh, to the commander. Six general, that's very low. So 6,359. So 
2,000 years passed since that time. Lyndon Johnson challenged a reporter by unzipping his pants. <laughs> proud about his size. He knew about the size of his penis and he wanted to show it to everyone. Lyndon Johnson was not shy man. He was <laughs> tremendously proud about his size of his penis. He called it Jumbo. To show off, he would go to the bathroom. He would leave the door open. Sometimes White House and stuff. So, sometimes he would dictate to his secretary while he's sitting in this toilet seat. And secretary, poor secretary should write it. So he was trying to show, he was exhibitionist. He was showing, show off. In one of his most infamous penis flashing incident, a female reporter was challenging why we should be in the Vietnam, why we are fighting the Vietnam. The answer and took his penis is because of this. What does it mean? Did he mean because of this, because we are being castrated in Vietnam? Because war is a castration. That's what rape is frequent in the war, because man wanted to prove that still he has it. Like a two years old who holds his penis and run around means no one has cut it yet. So war is a castration, and so it increases annihilation. So did he mean that we are being castrated? So what are you talking about? Because of this. or? He was telling her, who are you who have no penis and challenge, challenging a man with this large, big penis? Who are you who can tell me what I am doing here? So we don't know what was in, what was in his motivation to answer and show his face because of this. This is the why. This is. Uh, Johnson was also a terrible womanizer and is believed to have one, once remarked that he had more women than the Kennedy ever had on Pepos. So that, that's, uh, that's superiority, I have more women. That so means he had no capacity to get close to one person. Oxytocin was yeah. That's not an honor to have to. Object relationship is messed up. Uh, OK, well, we are going through a little technical. That we see that there are, there are a statue of the having sex with the animals. So let's, we are talking about the uh, perversion now, okay? And this is amusing. It was okay to have with a horse with a goat, and this is a bestiality, they call it, sexual. And as you see even here, uh, there are, that was okay. They thought that they would get the power of the animals if they had sex with the animals. Uh, same way that uh, in Africa was tried to uh, they drink the blood or, um, of the enemies, they would get the power inside of themselves. So Ophelia, so then one of the, that having sex with animals or having a recurrent fantasy of sex with animals, that's one of the psychopathology called Franco. And then according to the Kinsey report, 74% of female, 88% of the male have had sexual experience with animals. In the farm goes up to 17% of the uh, male and female, but they have sexual relationship with the animals. For female, it involved their pets licking their genital area and some having their vagina penetrated by trained dogs, like we say trained dogs or trained horse. I'm glad they don't have an elephant in their home. <laughs> <laughs> okay, how about animals? When we have a sex with animals, and have a, do the animals also have a desire, sexual desire toward us, toward human beings? I don't know, I find a few pictures. Uh, do, uh, <laughs> Distinction between the bestiality and zoophilia. Bestiality means when you abuse the animal and rape the animal. Zoophilia means you enjoy a animal. But we don't know. You don't have a concept from animals. So it's considered rape. Uh, yeah. Animal sexuality, who are there? Non animal. Is there anything like that? Is there any desire? Of course. There's monkeys, they are holding a woman. We don't know if they, are, they get sensuality or sexuality. Well, animal, do they yeah. have a voyeurism animal? <laughs> That's great. Yeah. How about the plants? I mean, when we talk about animals, well, let's look at plants. I don't think so. I find only one picture in the world, and I'll show you one second. Uh -huh. <laughs> oh, no. no. Well, that was animals. And that was a uh, plant. That's all that I find. Okay. On glory of sexual organ, there's a penis festival in Japan. In uh, Australia, the nurseries uh, kids sing about the beauty of the clitoris. Uh, 
in the United States, a woman does not know she has a clitoris, or she may know, and but she does not know most of the time what is good for. In uh, Hartford, uh, Connecticut, there was a, a theater, and they advertised. And the father wrote a letter to the, the newspaper, Hartford Cora. Oh God, my, my, I was driving with my eight years old daughter, and she said, Dad, what, I, what would she say? What do I answer? God, why did they put that word there? Then that's part of her body. <laughs> like a hand, like a hair. This is, this is a, a, a 18th century, 19th century. Uh, <coughs> number one, the mother, the genital area, it's, it's a secret name for a mother and kids. Now, I, mom, I have number one or number two. Victorian era killed the sexuality of the Western woman. That, and, and also the Western man. We can use this war in advertising. Oh, crap. That's my child would ask me that. And that should be a number one or number two. On glory of the male sexual organ. So in Japan, they have a, a penis festival. You can imagine man and woman all together, and, and even half naked, almost. So what can I uh -huh. also? What is the what happened? Why culture? Culture and custom. This, this is a culture they are getting married in this culture, but there's another culture, and that's another matter. It's a culture. We can't change it. This is a volleyball in the Olympic or whatever, the Egypt, and the, so you can see the culture. And they play. Uh, not too much. Uh, this is the Iranian revolution that the woman passed and soldier in the street. It's not too much. Time has not changed, and that's a 16th century picture. Uh, not changing. How? That's another thing. What is going on with the, when every bar in every corner, woman is sitting there and waiting for someone to come and ask him for a, a date or invitation? Why do we make the dolls? This originally was made in Netherlands in the 18th century when man would go with a ship for six months in the ship to do the fishing and come back. They made something with the clothes for a, uh, like a woman so they could have sex with them in the, in the ship. Uh, and now, but that was a six month going to the, to the, the ship with no female. <coughs> so what is this? And as you see, they made it as beautiful as, uh, uh, men, as possible. Uh, even they made a sexual dolls for the female. So what is going, what is the object relationship here? How frightened men are of the female? How messed up childhood some of us we should have that we buy these things. And they have also for child, but they are, this is it, they made it for child. Okay. And biting is forbidden because the air come out. So the, the, if one have it, you should, should avoid any kind of the biting. And this is a $5,000, the Matthew Matt McMullen, made from a special kind of the, it's not an air, a special kind of the silicone water. Made the, Toys, and also there's a robot who would react and who would, would get warm and who would hold you and all of these things. Uh, this is the way that she's making, he's making it. Uh, very, very, very good. And then sell it 5,000. But you know, here is a reporter and a doll. If you ask me who is a reporter, who is a doll, I say one who is more beautiful is a doll. <laughs> so then uh, came to see this spirit. Different culture have a different beautification. No a scar breast implant. That's the advertisement. However, in some other culture, a scar is a sign of the beauty. And I'll show you a few pictures. Yeah. This man, this scar is a sign of the beauty. But when do they do that? It's a really almost the child abuse. This way they would do it. Yeah. Uh, and how about this woman in the face? Mm -hmm. Well, I call it child abuse. They get it with the razor and they cut their face, his face or her face, whatever. Mm -hmm. For beauty, which is the really child is. Uh, he's having the forehead. Uh, the next picture I'll show you in one second because it's a very emotional. You can imagine. Of course, the, he, she is not, he's not crying. He's not crying because of the culture. It's looked like period mm -hmm. and they are wanting. Okay. Yeah, well, these are all made, I call it child abuse. But do our ear piercing is a child abuse also? That says it another discussion. Okay, frankly, doctor, I don't believe on Freud's history of childhood sexuality, theory of So, and uh, is there children have a sexuality? 
discovery of the body part, originally would touch it and would find his toes there, and from there would go a little higher. What mm -hmm. is this? And goes and see what is it, and then would see that and would touch it and would explore it. And then a girl would ask, what is, can I see what is in that? And then can I touch it? And that's the gear, uh, Freudian theory, that castration and I need mm -hmm. to do research on that and see if it really could be confirmed. Is it the only 19th century female that Freud was involved with? Or is it the 21st century also? It is there. Okay. And don't kids have any sexuality at uh, this age? From, or, uh, or is it curiosity? Wanted to know why mom constantly covered these things. What is under that that she's covering for me? Why I cannot look and see what is there? Why we can know why they, the, the moment that I come to the room and she covered here and she covered there. So what is this going on? The, what is there going on? I'm looking to see what is there that the, everyone's curiosity. Curiosity versus sexuality. I wanted to see what is going on there. Sensuality, that's a beautiful water calm, mm -hmm. child that you know, we, we hold the baby, we put the ointment on the body and we touch him and we massage him and that's called sensuality and, and we enjoy it and she enjoys it. Uh, that. Okay, little <laughs> girl's reaction to the, uh, um, uh, to the kissing of the, the baby. You see, no they are. No don't do that. <laughs> and especially there was a French kissing that I was seeing that, uh, and they all oh got what is, what is going on. <laughs> that's, that's a call. Why really? Okay, the body is mean to be seen, not covered up. Why should she become a sex symbol? My impression is that because of um, the role that she played in the movie, not because of her beauty. There were many other women more beautiful than her. The role that she played was a simple-minded girl, like a village girl, which a man, an insecure man like me, would feel superior, who was beautiful, with one half, and she is very dependent, very reliable, very much uh, less intelligent than me, less educated than me, village girl, simple-minded. And that's what that becomes sexy for, because of the movie that she was playing. She becomes sex symbol. One who could not become a sex symbol is Angela. This person. Anyone knows? Dickinson. Dickinson. Because Dickinson. she said, I dress for women and I dress for men, which I wouldn't mind. But anyway, because she played a role of the detective, highly intelligent <laughs> and a powerful, she could not become a sex symbol. I would feel inferior. I don't want I, I want the other one who I feel superior. And, anyway, if a woman is free to show her body, why should not be free to cover it up? Which is, that's the, that's the culture. Anita, had the price of looking been blindness, I would have looked. That's, of course, she died in, in 89 recently. Yeah. And it was in my childhood, she was really sexy. Oh, she was the, yeah, from the Scandinavian one. Okay, action and reaction. This is a reaction to this action. People remember in the pitch, there was a guard who would measure <laughs> between your knee and this, how much should be. And reaction to that is because man was deciding it, not woman. And that is the reaction. We become naked. You remember these are pitches, a guard coming and measuring. And, uh, that's, and again, man, masculine uh, country. Man was the uh, ruler. Pornography. Uh, we don't have a time to go through it, of course, watching for now, but look at it down uh, below. Uh, uh, if, if, I, if I could talk like our president, I call it uh, locker room talk. One second, locker room talk. I think that is a, in pornography, the sexual position, they call it doggy position. And this is a dog, and he's telling, this was my technique. You got it from me. <laughs> Forget it, forget it because you don't have a time. Forget it. Okay, erectile dysfunction. And many people who have erectile dysfunction, they also uh, watch pornography because that's needed to stimulate themselves. Diabetes, high blood pressure, high cholesterol, heart disease, depression, the spinal cord injury, cause the obesity, cause the. Okay, can I implant? You, if you look at the 
this is a penis that is not erected. There is a two cylinder inside of that. And blood is matchless, so it's not erect. When is blood come here, that's it, erect. When blood came here, this would be erection. So these things, are you looking for your comment? Yeah, it's there. Okay, thank you. Sorry. Second floor. No, no. Yeah, I see it. Yeah, thank you. Um, so they, they did flab and in diabetic, high blood pressure, high cholesterol, all of these things, obesity, this, you know, when the blood become narrow because of the, so. So they would, they, anyway, they, they, they do these things, and there is also a pump here that you can pump it, and liquid goes there. And now I have recently idea that they made it also the remote control. But the danger of that is that sometimes other remote control interferes. You know, the neighbor's wife is opening a garage door, and then the penis of the neighbor goes out. That, that would be very embarrassing. Okay, there's also sucking suction because they want it. They, they, they suck also the, because they, when they suck, the blood come here so they um, would cover it up. There's an injection, that's the best one. You go to the bathroom, you inject the pop of it in, whatever. They dilate the, the dilatation of the blood vessel and of course blood goes there. You, you know that the, the smallest, the, the narrowest uh, vessels in artery and uh, is in the Genital area and next is in the heart. So people may develop first genital uh, uh, erection problem, then heart problem, because that's the, the smallest one. So and, um, that's a medication. We don't talk about it. That's increased. Uh, the penis enlargement Bible, uh, the typical erect penis is five to six inches, but some people are obsessed with that, and they wanted to uh, increase it. And the uh, pedophile that I talk about, that uh, they, uh, if you approach the, uh, there is no way to increase the size of the penis. But there is, and uh, there is a lot of advertisement. There is a lot of, um, uh, most of the guy seeking penis enlargement have average normal size. They think they are developing. But anyway, let's go to, so that is the one that they put is very painful. Okay. Yeah. The only way to increase the size of the penis, which is not increasing, there is a suspensory ligament here. And they cut this ligament. They cut this ligament. So obviously it got longer. And also, yes. So this, this ligament holds this penis to the pubic. Uh, right? So that is the one to make it bigger. As you see, they cut this and this and make a penis bigger. So there's no other way. Paraphilia. Am I, am I finished? Well, you're th oh, three what? minutes over. <laughs> I'm starting two okay. minutes. Okay, you come in and put your things. Yeah, I don't talk about voyeurism or exhibitionism or telephone scattering. These are all. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Again, in, in one one point about the gang, uh, gang rape that I show. If the gang rape first, when a few boys get together, a few men get together and rape the woman, uh, many times uh, my impression is that um, they really, uh, one or two or all of them, are uh, homosexual. And this is not a naked body of the man, a woman, who make them excited. That's a naked body and penis of the male who make them, uh, give them erection and give them excitement. So the treatment is not to go to jail. The treatment is to go to therapy and accept that homosexuality is a normal, um, a normal variety of the. <coughs> okay, you can come. I'm finishing. Okay. I'm going to start. Thanks very much. Thank you. And sexuality, no one asks question because we are all uh, still uh, Victorian era is in our minds. Very hot, however, it's feeling.